All right, week 10 uh, coming up, uh, kicking off uh, Thursday. Got a nice matchup here uh, to start the week. Carolina at Pittsburgh. Uh, boy, the Steelers are picking up steam. Uh, they have uh, been playing well. Uh, you know, almost as if this... Uh, this Le'Veon Bell thing has actually galvanized the team, you know, the last couple of weeks. Just because they're just kind of like, it's almost like they're like, you know what, F this guy. You know what, who, who cares? And, and you know, man, what a, what, what a disaster for Le'Veon Bell uh, and, and for fantasy owners and, 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 and everybody involved. It's just, uh, what was the point of this, this holdout? And, and it's not even over yet. I know we tweeted some stuff uh, this week. Uh, somebody saw him at the gym. Pittsburgh, but I mean, you know, the Steelers are almost better off. He stays away now because when he comes back, it's going to be a zoo. Uh, and right now they're on, uh, you know, they're on a little roll here. Um, you, know, you know, Carolina's been playing well. You know, this is a pretty good, pretty good game here. I'm gonna take the Steelers uh, just because there's not enough time in a week for for Le'Veon to to f this up with something, so he's not gonna play. Uh, they've been rolling with James Conner. I'll take the Steelers. Uh, all right, we got to go to Sunday early games. You got Detroit at Chicago. Uh, NFC North is really up for grabs. Uh, even the Lions are still hanging around. Uh, nobody seems to want to grab hold of this division. Uh, but I think the Bears, uh, you know, they take care of the business this week. Uh, you know, Lions didn't look good uh, against Minnesota last week. I don't know where that team's headed. Um, you know, again, they, they're still in it, but you know, one of these other three teams, it's not going to be Detroit that comes out of this this, this division. Let's just put it that way. Uh, I'll take Chicago just because they, they got better. Uh, they're playing better on offense right now, uh, and they got scary defense. Um, the Orleans of Cincinnati, you know, the Bengals are out A.J. Green. They're just terrible when he's not there. Uh, I, don't, I don't even know if they win a game when he doesn't play. Um, hopefully Tyler Boyd can pick up the slack. I got him in my, my New York Fantasy League. Uh, so, so hopefully he can put some numbers up there. But the Saints are just... The, 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 uh, the, Saints, the Saints might be going to the Super Bowl. I, I mean, I, yeah, they beat the Rams. But they, they've just been the best team, I think, this year. Um, you, you know, you, you take out that week one loss... When Fitz Magic put up forty eight points, and they would be undefeated with with no with nobody in sight to, to knock them off. Uh, they just they're just a complete team. Um, they signed Des Bryant this week. I, I don't know. It's probably just window dressing. Uh, you know, maybe Des helps them out uh, a little bit, but they don't even need Des Bryant at this point. Um, they just the Saints are just too bad. Uh, the Saints are going to win this game. Uh, Atlanta, Cleveland. Um, you know, Atlanta did us a favor last week, beat the Redskins. Uh, now they go into Cleveland. You, you know, they, they could get back on track here with a win here. Um, but, you know, I could see Cleveland giving this team a game. Um, I'm not going to pick Cleveland, so just, you know, relax. Uh, Atlanta will win the game, but don't be shocked if uh, Cleveland pulls this one out. Because uh, I just don't think Atlanta's that good. It's just, they're, just, they're just kind of middling around, mediocre right now. Uh, and you got Carolina and the Orleans in that division, and they just there's, there's no real path for Atlanta to get to the playoffs. So it's just that's the problem. Um, but I'll take Atlanta up to beat Cleveland. Uh, New England at Tennessee uh, is an interesting ball game here. This, this could be a trap game for New England. You got uh, you know Vrabel, uh, you know former uh, Patriot played under Belichick. You, you know the Titans are just uh, you know listen they looked amazing. Monday night against the Cowboys, uh, you know, on moving the ball on offense and, 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 and playing playing well on defense. I mean, they had a couple of early turnovers, which you know, of course, the Cowboys don't capitalize on, on all of them, um, and, and you know, that that, that 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 pretty much sets the tone for the ball game. But man, you know, Tennessee's going to give New England a game here. I, I, I'm not going to pick them, but th this is going to be a, this is going to be a real interesting game. Um, but, but see, Tennessee, you know, they're week to week. I mean, one week they look good, 
The next week they don't. I, I can't figure them out. But you know what? They're in the AFC North thing, uh, AFC South, whatever division they're in. You know, they're they're, they're still kind of hanging around too. Um, if they win this game, you know, look out. You know, maybe they can do something. But I, I think New England, New England has got too much. I'll take New England. Uh, Jacksonville and Indianapolis. Um, you know, Jaguars are coming off the bye. They get Fournette back. You know, let, let's see if that's enough. Uh, you know, Bortles hasn't played well. The, the, the Colts has got enough offensive skill players where they can put up some points. Uh, and, and that's the thing. If, if, if Jacksonville gets behind, they're not a team that comes back uh, the, well from behind. Um, I mean, I don't know. It's a division game. You know, maybe Fournette back gives you know gives the team some some life. But who knows if you know he, he you know you know I had him in my, one of my leagues and you know he was out week one. And he starts week two and you're like, all right, yeah, things going well. And then he tweaks the hamstring again and then he's out and I, and I have three and a half points. And I still won that week, but uh, you know that's the thing with the, you know that, that hamstring could freaking flare up at any minute. Um, so you, you can't really trust Jacksonville. But, um, I, I'm gonna take the Colts. I, I, I'm not. I'm not big on this game. Uh, and and you, even people in Jacksonville, and Indianapolis, could probably kill us. But uh, I'll, I'll take the Colts to win this game. But you know, this, this one's a toss up. Um, the next game is not a toss up. Arizona's at Kansas City. I mean, yeah, I picked up Chiefs defense a couple weeks ago for a reason. Cause I knew they had Cleveland, Arizona back to back. They did all right last week. They could have done a little bit better. They gave up a little too, too, too many points. But uh, Arizona, they can't run the ball. I, I don't care if they, they got the new coordinator in there. You know, and, and, and Fitz is trying to, you know, have one last run. The Chiefs are just going to they're just gonna rain points on this team. Um, and the Chiefs are winning the game. Uh, Buffalo with the Jets. Uh, I mean... Has there, has there ever been a Bills Jets game that's like meant something? Has there ever been like a like like I I mean let's let's go back to like the beginning of the AFL. Like has has Bills Jets has it ever been like oh man Bills are playing the Jets this week this is a big game. like has it ever been that I I don't know that I, th I think they met in a wild card in in uh, back in 1981 uh, but other than that I don't even think people cared about that game. But other than that, I don't think in the 60-year history, uh, basically, of these two teams, I don't think there's ever been, like, a big Bills-Jets game. Like, it's just like, either one of them's really bad, or they're both really bad, and, you know, you don't know Donald this week, but he hasn't been playing well. I already spent too much time talking about this game. I'll take the Jets because Josh McCown is a decent quarterback, and the Bills, the Bills don't have anything off. Uh, Washington Tampa Bay is the last Sunday early game. You know, here's another game that could go either. You could see Tampa Bay uh, winning in a blowout. You could see Washington winning in a blowout. You could see a, a shootout. You could see a little scout. I mean, who knows what's going to happen in this game? Um, you know, I'm gonna take Tampa because I need I need another favor uh, from the NFC South. To keep the stupid Cowboys in this. Um, you know, because the Redskins lose, you know, it keeps the door open. Um, but you, you know, this who knows what's going on. This game. I mean, some fantasy uh, action here, you know, with Tampa and Washington. They're like fantasy sleeper teams, uh, you know. So maybe they, they put up a good show, get some people some points this week. But I'll take the Bucks because that's my rooting interest. You know, I can't root for the Redskins. All right, Sunday, uh, late afternoon, you get LA Chargers at Oakland. You, you know, the Raiders. God, the Raiders are the worst team in football. I mean, they're just. I mean, they got blown out. They got blown out by the 49ers with their with their third string quarterback. I mean, that's and again the 49ers have fought this year. You know, you, you know their record stinks. You know they they they've been in games. Um, you know they 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 they've been trying to play well despite all the injuries. But man, I mean the Raiders look just so disgusting last Thursday, and uh, they're not gonna look any better with, with Phil Rivers. And listen, don't go to sleep on the Chargers right now. Um, you know, everyone's talking about Kansas City, you know, obviously New England, you know, and Pittsburgh playing well, but I'm telling you right now, don't go to sleep on the Chargers, okay? You know, I picked the Chargers to go to Super Bowl uh, back in the beginning of the year, and, and don't be surprised if they end up there, because people, they're, they're still under the radar right now, but they're playing real well, big win in Seattle last week, 
Rivers is playing well. They got great offense. They got good enough defense. And, you know, they, they, they got to get the Chiefs. They already lost to the Chiefs, so, but I don't know when they play. But if they could even that up, you know, don't be surprised if L.A. sneaks in and wins the division. Um, and then we got Miami at Green Bay. You know, Packers had two tough weeks back-to-back -back with the New England and the, the Rams before that. Um, you, you know, could have won both games, but, but, you know, both the games got away from them late. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Miami's not winning this game. I mean, come on, Miami's not winning this game. Uh, Miami's not going to Lambeau. Be yeah, Rodgers, that's ridiculous. Um, so I'm gonna take Green Bay in this one. Uh, you get Seattle at the Rams. You know, these two teams had a nice little shootout a couple weeks ago in Seattle. Uh, I'm hoping we get a nice big shootout again this week. Uh, I'm starting. Um, what was his name? David Jones. The David Moore. The, 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 the Seattle guy in one of my leagues. Um, I, I got Baldwin in another. Um, he, 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 you know, I, Seattle receivers got to pull through. Uh, you know, Russell Wilson's going to hopefully put up some points. I mean, the Rams are going to win the game, but, you know, hopefully you get another nice little shootout like I had a couple weeks ago. Um, but, but the Rams will win the game. They'll bounce back. Um, and then you go to Sunday night. You got Dallas at Philadelphia. I, I mean... Yeah, Cowboys, uh, you know, here's the sad thing. I mean, first of all, ter probably the worst loss of Jason Gary era. You're coming off a bye. You're playing a Titans team that's not great. You're playing at home. They give you two turnovers right off the bat. And, and, and really, you, you, you really got destroyed. In the game. I know it was 28-14, to 14, but they were out of it uh, basically in the second half. Uh, uh, you know, I don't know, I don't know what the problem is. You know, Aikman came out and finally... You know, blasted the team, the way the organization is run. Uh, you know, maybe that's a wake up call. I don't know. You know, the Cowboys the last 20, 25 years, like, they, you know, they have they never really hit rock bottom. Like they had that, they had that Dave Campo stretch where they were bad, um, but then they brought in Parcells. Um, you, you know, I mean, dynasty ended in the late nineties. You know, then you had the Dave Campo garbage years. Then they brought in Parcells, and then, you know, and they they look good here and there. You know, and then they they really had two bad seasons since then, and, and both those seasons when Romo got knocked out, and it's like, but like they just there's still is this perpetual eight and eight, nine and seven. They they do just enough to 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 keep you interested, but but they never get over the hump. Like it's just I, I don't I don't know what this team's got to do. So and so here we go, perfect setup. You come off a terrible week, everyone's writing them off. They're going into Philly. You know, watch the Redskins lose, and then they beat Philly Sunday night. And now, guess what? They're four and five. The Redskins are five and four. You were game out of first. Like when really your season should be over. The, the way you play it. I mean, they're just so annoying. This team sometimes. Um, and really, the last twenty years, it's just been just just been like, oh, maybe maybe we're gonna do it. like they never they never bottom out. You, you know, I mean, again, the two really bad years they've had in the last fifteen years is because you know the Romo got knocked out and and, and the season tanked. Um, so, I mean, listen, they ended up with Zeke because of it. It was so good, but, uh, you know, the, the one year. But I, this, uh, that Cowboys, God, they're so annoying. They, they just really, you know, really, I, I mean, Dak's got to play better. These guys got to play better. I don't know what else, I don't know what else to tell you. You know, you're going into Philly. Listen, who knows what's going to happen? Everything's up for grabs. That's why they put Dallas Philly on Sunday night because you never know. I'm going to pick the Cowboys because, you know, it would just make sense after last week that they come in and get this win. But, you know, uh, who knows? Here we go again with this team. Um, <clears throat> and then you get Monday Night Giants at 49ers. Like, who cares? The 49ers win the game. Who cares? Um, all right. So, there you go. There's your Week 10. Um, you got four teams off this week. Um, and then we'll see you Sunday night. You know, for some some yelling and screaming, and, and, and we'll see if the Cowboys get a win. But you know, who, who knows? But all right, there, there you go. Week ten.